Hi, I'm Malcolm. And I'm Rachel. We're two Canadians living on our 39-foot main ship trawler, living an adventure of a lifetime. We invite you to follow along as we travel 6,000 miles through Canadian and U.S. waterways around America's Great Loop. here. We've only been here one night but uh, we were able to explore yesterday. It was a really um, fun time going around all the different rocks and seeing all the little nooks and crannies in the bays and things. Um, but we know there's some bad weather coming and at least windy weather. Uh, we're not really afraid of rain so much as we are of wind especially when we're anchoring. So we've decided to move along and the Bustard Islands is a little bit more exposed than we had originally thought. Uh, and the winds that are coming are kind of westerly and southwesterly and so we want to get to an area that's very well protected from those winds. Uh, I believe it's going up to about 30 knots which is kind of like 60 kilometers an hour so that's pretty high um, and so when you're at anchor that's of concern when it's that high. So we just wanted to uh, touch base, say hello, had a nice swim this morning before we headed out and we're gonna go through Killarney and head just north of that area. There are several bays, so we think we're gonna be able to find a protected spot there. Hope you're having a great day. On the west side, we've decided to go to an anchorage tonight instead of into Killarney itself. There's a lot of boats in there. Everyone's sort of preparing for this big wind coming. It's beautiful along here. I don't know if you can see that coastline. The, uh, the sky is blue, just a few fluffy clouds. The water is beautiful. And the wind is behaving itself right now. But we know it's going to get up later, so we're really enjoying it right now. Here we are in our anchorage. This is called Covered Portage Cove, which is not too far from the west side of Killarney. The reason we're here is because it's gonna get really windy for the next two to three days. And we need a place that's very protected uh, from the west and the southwest, and this is. So hopefully we picked right. The, wet, the water looks gorgeous and there's cliffs all around us. So I'm thinking it's pretty good protection. Have a look at that. That's just amazing. We're gonna get the dinghy out now and we're gonna explore. We take the sun while we can explore because there's going to be a bit of rain coming in as well. So we should have a good day.
Coming from Georgian Bay, Killarney is the jumping off point to the North Channel. It was established in 1820 as a fur trading post on what was a major water transportation route. It is marked on both the east and west sides by lighthouses. Formed around a narrow channel, Killarney relies heavily on tourism and was not accessible by road until 1962. Its population is only 387. Killarney and the surrounding area are popular destinations for tourists from all over the world. It is not unusual to see a helicopter and float planes which dock at the Killarney Mountain Lodge. Lots of yachts, sailboats, fishing vessels, kayaks and tour boats. And we were amazed to see a large Great Lake cruise ship anchored to the east. We took the dinghy outside the channel to see how big it was. This cruise can take 378 passengers. They seem to be taking guests out on various excursions including an underwater viewing platform. On our way back through the channel, we stopped at the dock for some fish and chips and an ice cream before heading back to stay cool. We are in Covered Portage Cove right now, not too far from Killarney, and we've taken refuge here for a couple of reasons. We have a couple of days of very high winds and storms today, and we didn't get much today. A little bit of a storm earlier, but right now it's looking particularly ominous, and we're probably going to unplug a lot of our electronics and prepare for uh, what looks like a pretty intense thunderstorm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. So yeah, it's um, it looks imminent. I think we're in probably the next 15, 20 minutes, we're going to get hit with something. We're in a very protected bay, so we're, we're happy about that. We're also surrounded by sailboats. <laughs> we're kind of happy about that too. Um, but we got to get ready. So um, we'll, we'll probably unplug a few of our electronics to protect those. And uh, hopefully wind won't be an issue here. It's just going to be rain. And let's just make sure the lightning stays away so you can really hear the rumbling all around us right now yeah there's someone at the end of the bay too there's like a little trail that goes up the rock it's very high and i keep hearing them blow a whistle i'm not sure if they're calling somebody or a dog but i hope they find them because mm -hmm. they really need to get off the water right now yeah all right well we'll see you on the other side <laughs> hopefully <laughs> all intact okay bye Okay, when it gets really lightning and thunder, it gets you a little nervous because yeah. you're never quite sure what it's going to do. But in the rain, that's eh, okay. It's actually, it's kind of cozy in the rain. Um, but the, uh, yeah, the, the other elements, the wind and the lightning and the thunder, are the ones you watch out for. So, yeah. we'll, um, you know, we'll watch, watch carefully. We'll sit tight and we'll watch carefully, yeah. Rain clouds have moved off and today we have a big blow. Uh, I think it's about 30 gusting to 50 kilometers an hour, maybe even 40 gusting to 60 at times. So we're anchored, the anchor is still holding and we're just staying put, getting some things done. Had the generator on this morning to run some power because the solar is struggling to keep up with the cloud cover. Uh, but hopefully we can get the solar working in full tilt this afternoon when the sun comes out again. But other than that, staying put, working on a few videos for you guys. You can really hear that wind and it's uh, pretty protected in here so I can't imagine what it's like in the bay outside. It's 
Is it holding? You always see us in these same shirts. And what they are is they're from Eddie Bauer and they are SPF 50. So they're good for sun protection and I guess kind of bug protection too. But that's why we wear these because we don't like putting sunscreen all over all the time. And this is just easy. So we have a few of them in different colors. So we look like we're wearing a uniform all the time, but that's what we're wearing. Highly recommend. <laughs> <laughs> We're going for a walk to the top of the cliff. We might, if we get to the top, see a good view down the bay. We sprayed ourselves with bug spray, at least the bottom of our legs, to hopefully deter ticks and mosquitoes. And Malcolm is making noise to scare away a bear, which has been <laughs> sighted here. Yep swimming apparently but it won't be we won't come across a bear he'll be afraid of us Bye, it's, like, <laughs> it's like kind of nice light through this part I'm not gonna catch you you just have to run faster than me and you're good Look. oh is this Somewhere to go <laughs> no. if the bear is chasing you. I think, <laughs> I think the bear will chase you up there actually. Yeah, that's probably where the bear looks for you. <laughs> the bear, that's the bear's hideout. Did you find blueberries? I did. Oh, these are tiny little wild Canadian blueberries. I love these. There's not Full many left. Oh, look, here's one. It's Full of flavor. Here's one. And vitamins and good stuff. Let's eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. There's one there. And here's one here. Yummy. Mm. Eastern white pine. Must be a tall one up there. With, excuse me, windswept pines. Literally. Mossy trail. But still trying to shoo away bears. Which I guess is smart, but kind of annoying. Look at that rock over there. We're pretty high up now, so you get a bit of a view when you get to an edge. So, windswept. Oh, that's bad. Look at that bay. It is very windy up here. Where is that over there? That's towards Little Current, that's I guess. Little Current over there, yeah. That's so cool. And then here's our bay with some sailboats, catamarans in there. And over here is our boat. Here. Look at those blueberries, that's amazing. This is looking east at the top, so we can see not quite to Killarney, but it's over there somewhere. You can see all the rock in the water. We made it back. Goodness. Yes, we did. We made it back. It was a nice climb. I would highly recommend anybody who likes blueberries in July to climb to the top and eat blueberries all the way up. Yeah, that was fun. Did you enjoy that? I did. That was Very really nice. fun. Good idea.